Actually, I think that uh, more than calling it post-lithium, I will call it side-by-side -side to lithium. Um, lithium will still remain, I think, in the market, but uh, we will have other technologies uh, coming that will have a role in the market in other applications. For example, I see more the side-by-side -side technology on uh, stationary applications, for example. And concerning which one of the um, various technology, I see uh, sodium ion batteries as uh, a technology that will be the, one of the most prominent on the market beside lithium. And uh, I also, I'm also optimistic about uh, magnesium batteries, for example. The hot topics in, in post-lithium battery research, I would say post-lithium battery research is a hot topic in itself because it addresses really important topics such as energy, security and sustainability, which current lithium-ion batteries cannot address. Um, but there are, of course, a couple topics um, not only important in post-lithium research, but also in lithium-ion batteries still and in other fields. And one would be um, design for recyclability. So how do you, how do you run your synthesis, your processes, um, your battery cell assembly such that you can retrieve the materials after the end of the life of a battery and reuse them. And the second would be accelerated materials discovery. So how can we be faster in finding new materials? And there are many interesting approaches, some of them in our cluster, um, where you try to automate the research process from material synthesis over processing all the way to testing um, and couple this with artificial intelligence approaches so that you can really be at a much faster, faster pace in finding new material combinations and concepts that work in a full cell. Regarding um, the post-lithium research itself as a topic, I think very important field is the development of electrolytes, especially for multivalent ions such as magnesium and calcium, finding electrolytes which are high performance or give high ion mobility, which are safe and operate in a stable way in the battery and also are sustainable, ideally uh, water-based. That's a big challenge and we have a couple of activities in our cluster which try to address this challenge. An interesting topic in post-lithium research is the design of the granular electrode structure. Depending on the material properties, the structure uh, should be different to enable good exploitation of the active material. Also, the structure should be easily producible, maybe even upscalable, and reduce degradation within the electrode. 